Aloha! Welcome to Kensho Quest. In this video, I'm going to show you the zero waste items we pack for traveling the world. Our family is far from living a zero waste lifestyle, but we try to do little things to reduce the number of single-use disposable items we throw away. These reusable zero waste items do make our luggage heavier, but we think it's worth it. Aloha! Welcome to Kensho Quest. We're a full-time traveling family currently in Vietnam. Please subscribe for packing tips and travel inspiration. And give us some thumbs up! Up first is our Hydro Flask Tumblers. These things are awesome for keeping your drinks either cold or hot. To go along with our tumblers and other drinks, we bring along stainless steel straws. For our Hydro Flask tumblers, I purchased the straw lids, but then I went ahead and I switched out the straw for these stainless steel boba straws so that we can use our Hydro Flask for getting bubble tea. If you're going to pack reusable straws, it's also a good idea to bring along a straw brush so you'll be able to clean them well. In addition to the tumblers, we bring along our Hydro Flask insulated water bottles. These are really great for keeping our water cool when we're outside seeing in hot climates. Up next is our stainless steel snack containers. We've been using these Kid Can Serve stainless steel containers for almost six years now. We like to use them both at home and while traveling. Before our flight, we always fill these up with snacks and pack up our snack bag full to keep our kids happy while traveling. Another item we bring along mostly for our kids is reusable fabric napkins. This helps cut down on the number of paper napkins or paper towels that we use. For grocery shopping while traveling, we bring along reusable grocery bags. This one here is insulated, which is nice for any items that we want to keep cool. We also picked up some reusable produce bags, so we can put things like apples in these, get them weighed and have a sticker put on them, and avoid using a plastic produce bag. If you'd like to see more about zero waste shopping around the world, watch our playlist. We also bring along a glass food storage container. We like to stay at Airbnb apartment rentals for a month at a time and cook a lot of our own food. So it's nice to have something to put leftovers in in the refrigerator and not worry about any toxic chemicals leaching into the food. Up next is Eco Nuts. These are technically soap berries and they can be used for washing our clothes. We usually buy laundry detergent at our destination, but it's nice to have eco nets along in case we can't get laundry detergent right away. It's super lightweight, it's solid form, it's nice to have in our suitcase. I also bring along a zero waste period kit. I wear Luna Pads organic cotton period underwear and they have removable inserts. So I bring about four pairs of the underwear and then maybe 20 of the inserts that I can switch out. And these are packed in a Logan Lenora plus Molly Suds wet dry clutch. We also bring along zero waste solid travel toiletries. If you'd like to see everything we packed at the beginning of our trip, check out our video on zero waste travel toiletries that we packed for long term travel. We've also restocked some items along the way, doing zero waste grocery shopping in Bangkok, Thailand and Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So check out our video on zero waste shopping in Malaysia to see all these natural beauty products we got. So I just wanted to tell you guys about this toothbrush real quick. It's made out of horse hair and at first I was like, oh, this is kind of scary, but you know what? We're trying to go zero waste and stuff, so I got it and I tried it and at first it tasted like a horse. I mean, I don't know what a horse tastes like, but it was kind of gross. Um, so I boiled it in, in water and then all the paint came off. So I'm like, oh no. <laughs> but then I still use it and it still tasted like horse. <laughs> But I'm like, I'm gonna just keep going with it and see what happens. About a week later, yeah, the taste went away and it works really well. All natural, no synthetic bristles, wood, yeah. Up next is cloth diapers. When we started this trip, our daughter was still wearing cloth diapers and training pants. Now she's diaper free. <laughs> If you'd like to learn about cloth diapering while traveling, check out my video on my Easy Peasy channel that will answer all of your questions about taking cloth diapers on vacation or for long-term travel. That wraps up the zero waste items we bring for travel. If you have any other suggestions, please share them with us in the comments below. None of us are perfect, but we can all do little things to help our environment. Please subscribe for more packing tips and to watch our family travel vlogs that we upload every Sunday.